Yes, I mean, when I started business, one of the things you'll find, there are other sub operators out there, but they, they typically um, have uh, gentlemen who are ex-military submariners and they you'll see a whole bunch of 50 year old white guys. Um, I wanted our team to be younger, to be inspirational. the men and women of the United States Coast Guard and our search partners, we offer our most heartfelt thoughts and prayers for the five crew members, their families, and their loved ones. Our crews are working around the clock to ensure that we are doing everything possible to locate the Titan and the five crew members. I'm not going to inspire a 16 year old to, to go pursue marine technology, but a 25 year old, uh, you know, who's a sub pilot or a, a platform operator, or one of our techs can be inspirational. And so we've really tried to, to get um, very intelligent, motivated, younger individuals involved. In Approaches that are used largely in the aerospace industry is related to safety and uh, some of the, the preponderance of checklists, uh, things we do for risk assessments and things like that that are more aviation related than um, ocean related. And we can train people to do that. We can train someone to pilot the sub. We use a game controller um, so anybody can drive the sub. We also want our team to have a, a, a variety of a different backgrounds. You know, you're going to go to the Titanic, you're going to be spending eight days on a boat. You don't want every person to have the same experience of having been on a you know, U.S. nuclear sub or worked for Atlanta submarines and they all have the same background. The longer it is, the more difficult the challenge is. And if it's drifting in the currents, it might be drifting further and further away from that from that initial um, entrance point. So again, that is really tough. So the longer it lasts, the less chance you have of finding them, sadly. Mm -hmm.